the Barbie movie. <laughs> Surely a fun-filled, harmless summer blockbuster for all the family. Devoid of social engineering, progressive indoctrination, alphabet people propaganda, a relieving respite from having the message rammed down your throat yet another time. <laughs> Don't be so naive. Of course Barbie's become the latest battlefront for the culture war. Mattel knows for sure that if they allow this to be advertised as another huge steaming pile of feminist girl boss cringe, it's gonna be a complete flop and they're gonna lose a hundred million dollars. Which is somewhat of a problem because most of the people involved in this movie are touting it as another huge steaming pile of feminist girl boss cringe. After numerous Barbie actors told Time Magazine that the movie was most definitely feminist, Mattel Films executive producer Robbie Brenner insisted that it was quote, not a feminist movie. And when that was put to lead actress and producer Margot Robbie, she raised her eyebrows and responded quote, who said that? Ow. Now there's full on damage control and an internal struggle within Mattel to ensure that they don't get woke and go broke. Is Bobby a feminist movie? Depends on whom you ask. You can tell how desperate they are about this because legacy media outlets jumped the gun and went full on gush mode. Why the new Barbie movie is the feminist epic we deserve. They're even declaring the following scene to be iconic. Wow, so iconic. That's got to be up there with The Shining and The Empire Strikes Back. So iconic. The press is in full promo mode for this movie. The word iconic no longer has any meaning. That seems about as iconic in comparison to actually iconic movie scenes as the Barbie mansion is sophisticated and inspirational in comparison to the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> Of course you can't have Barbie as just a slim, attractive white girl. Oh no. As we know from Little Mermaid and numerous other examples, that's just not diverse and inclusive enough. So in the movie, they made everyone a Barbie. Hey Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Black female president Barbie, physicist Barbie, a judge Barbie, a journalist Barbie, a laundry list of career girl boss role models. Strangely, no room for stay at home mother Barbie. Interesting, isn't it, how that's the one role model they chose not to treat with inclusivity. But they did include a Barbie who was born a man. Yes, there's a transgender Barbie. Which is kind of funny because when promoting the film, the executive producer complains about brilliant female actresses getting shunned for roles because they're being crowded out by men. Oh, the irony. Transgender model Harry Neff plays the role of Dr. Barbie. Right, so at the height of the fallout of children being encouraged to undergo irreversible sex change surgery and chemical castration, at the apex of the debate over the harm being caused by gender ideology, they make the trans gender Barbie a doctor. Just a coincidence, I'm sure. Some things have been happening that might be related. In a world where even mindless movies and children's toys are being politicised, it's more important than ever to stay true to yourself. That's where Black Forest Supplements comes in. They're a company that understands the importance of embracing your inherent nature and want to bring back traditional masculinity and femininity. So if you're tired of woke culture and want to take a stand by taking care of your health and supporting companies that share your ideals, Black Forest is one of the few companies that's willing to stand up to this nonsense. And because of this, they're being targeted. They've been going after their payment gateways, delisting their products from Amazon. And now the FDA is trying to take away their star product, NMN, and turn it into a drug. Despite these challenges, Black Forest Supplements continues to provide products that help people unlock their unlimited potential with nature's most potent extracts. As you know from watching these videos, I've been taking NMN for months now. Long term, we're talking about healthy aging, weight loss. But even in in the short term, I feel more focused, better productivity, more energy, easier to get up in the mornings. But Black Forest isn't just selling supplements. They're promoting a lifestyle that celebrates masculinity, traditional femininity and independence. Unlike the Barbie movie, the best part of this is you can support this anti-woke company today with a huge promotion. For the next 48 hours only, they're running a special promotion on their NMN product. Buy two, get one free. Now's the time to secure your supply of Black Forest NMN before it's too late. Don't forget to check the pinned comment and description for the link to buy two Black Forest NMN and get one free offer. Stand against the tide, reclaim your values and become the best version of yourself. Now back to the video. The creators say they want the movie to provoke a thoughtful conversation. Yeah, because that's precisely what people are looking for when they pay $15 to see a Barbie movie, isn't it? Thoughtful conversations. <laughs>
They want to subvert the Barbie stereotype and surprise people, such as the stereotype amplified by the backward old Barbie, that women like shopping. I'd love to shop, don't you? Because everyone knows women hate shopping. Barbie director Greta Gerwig is an ardent feminist, who's previously butchered entire characters, most notably in her adaptation of Little Women, to give it a feminist slant. So how does the Barbie movie portray men? Well, consider the role of Ken. <sighs> Hi, Ken. Ken, for me, is just kind of there. I think Ken's just a great accessory. That's what I loved about Greta's imagining of Barbies, that the Kens are just supplemental characters to these Barbies, while Barbies can do everything. Kens are there to kind of support and don't necessarily have to have their own story. In other words, Ken's nothing but a massive simp. Simp! So they've reduced an entire sex to a pointless mass of faceless NPCs, whose role is merely to facilitate and affirm the existence of the Barbies. Another stunning victory for gender equality. Also, traditional masculine gender roles are harmful and deny people their humanity. And then I read it and I, it was like about sort of about how like gender roles deny people half their humanity and how like we need to just like be ourselves and it's like a very powerful message. Oh, but it's not a feminist movie. Margot Robbie said she only accepted the leading role in the movie because Mattel released diverse Barbie dolls, including the curvy Barbie doll, which wasn't curvy enough according to complaints by the body positivity movement, which demanded a plus-sized Barbie with three chins. Interesting, isn't it, how the creators of the Barbie movie want it to reinforce a message of body positivity and diversity, yet still chose this woman and this man for the two leading roles. Hmm, hedging their bets a bit somewhat, aren't they? But despite whatever drivel emanates out of Margot Robbie's mouth, be thankful for small mercies. They originally offered the role to Amy Schumer, who rejected it because it wasn't feminist enough. Vagina. 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 Just do women's comedy stuff, you know, talk about how fat you are and how you want to have sex with guys and then say, my vagina a lot. The fact that they originally wanted her to be the face of the movie doesn't really bode well for their decision-making skills does it? We know why Mattel's panicking. Barbie was completed and in the can long before the Bud Light meltdown, which thanks to woke pandering has now permanently cost the company 25% of its business. But Mattel can't change the content of the movie now in any meaningful way, which is why they're scrambling to control the narrative surrounding its pre-release marketing. Virtually every major movie in the last few years that went woke has completely bombed at the box office. But look at who the studios have to work with. Celebrities who are so committed to the woke mind virus. Hundreds of them just signed a letter lobbying big tech to ban anyone who opposes child mutilation surgery. Am I overthinking all this? Yeah, probably. But so are they, and that's the point. Literally everything, even what on the surface should be a mindless but watchable joyous romp based on a toy doll franchise, must be run through their woke purity filter before the masses are even allowed to see it. Has to be justified by satiating the insane intersectional whims of identity politics obsessed weirdos who have seized control of our culture. Another potentially fun flick ruined by interminable squabbling over how best to reinforce the mess. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.